scientists at the University of London have said that we need to change our climate. Researchers said that one way of reducing climate change is by spraying our sky with chemicals. The idea is that by spraying sulfur dioxide into our atmosphere it should help with climate change. Researchers who are from the University College in London, and also Harvard went on to say the following. If we can ingest the right dose of sulfur dioxide into the upper atmosphere of our planet, we could thicken the layer of light reflecting aerosol particles. Geoengineering isn't a fantasy. Various scientists, researchers and organisations have carried out experiments which have changed the Earth's natural weather. Going back the fires that happened across the Amazon caused researchers to question climate change, and what can actually be done about it. One of the most beautiful places on the planet is that of the Amazon rainforest. It's also one of the least explored places, hiding a number of undiscovered animals and vegetation. The Amazon rainforest is the largest rainforest. It's around 69 million square kilometers or 2.7 million square miles and covers over 40% of the South American continent. Scientists have said that the Amazon is home to over 16,000 tree species and 10 million species of animals. They've also said there's over 390 billion individual trees in this region. Bill Gates has announced that he's backing a weather experiment called Solar Geoengineering. The idea of it is to mirror the effects of a volcanic eruption. When this was first announced, people were confused as to why this would come in handy. But the idea is that many planes around the world would spray chemicals into the atmosphere. This in turn would create a massive chemical cloud that would help bring down the temperature of the Earth's surface. Andy Parker, who is a project director at the Solar Radiation Management Initiative, said the following. Modelling studies have found that it could reduce the intensity of heat waves. For instance, apparently it could reduce the rate of sea level rise. It could reduce the intensity of tropical storms. However, the idea hasn't been welcomed with open arms, with some researchers saying that although the technology is affordable, it might cause massive weather effects and even eradicate the blue sky. Author Stephen Gardner said the following. These consequences might be horrific. They might involve things like mass famine, mass flooding and drought of kinds that will affect very large populations. Bill Gates has also announced that he's backing a company by the name of EarthNow. This company is looking at putting a number of satellites that will provide live video in virtual real time. The pitch for the idea stated they would create satellites that could see any corner of the globe and provide live videos with a delay of only around a second. It seems to have piqued the interest of investors, as it's already been announced that Airbus, the SoftBank Group and Bill Gates will be investing. The initial funding is set to focus primarily on maturing the overall system's design to deliver innovative and unique real-time Earth observation services. Although it sounds like we're years away from getting this, it's actually been reported that they plan to have these satellites around the Earth within the next year. So what do you guys make of this? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.